Agna, best brewery in Norway, easily. Speed of rolls, everything they make is fantastic. Well, what's so special about the Belgian uh, beers? Bel just, uh, they, they can't be beat. Their beer's great. Belgians, and then I, I would say the Czech Republic next, Germany, and then the United States. It's just like going off like the 4th of July here, the micro and macro brewing scene here. So many great beers, very experimental. Like these guys are totally pushing the limit, Dogfish Head. Oh. These are all Belgians from here down. Why are they kept here. at room temperature? Why are they kept at room temperature? Yeah. Like so, everybody's used to seeing them in the refrigerated will, section. They should be fine. I mean, you can chill them to whatever temperature you want to drink them at, but most of them are, taste better at room temperature because the flavors really open up. If they're too cold, you can't really get the most out of the beer. But this guy right here, Nick Keller, he's a Danish, that's what they call a gypsy brewer. He doesn't have his own brewing establishment. He travels the world and, and site brews. And this guy is like, pretty much responsible for blowing the beer world up, the craft beer world. In 2010, he produced 76 new beers alone by himself. Here's the Lost Abbey. They made the Saison I had earlier. They're from California. One of my favorite breweries. This is one of my favorite beers from Portland, Oregon. Hair of the Dog. These guys specialize in really high alcohol beers and barley wines. Oh, there's collaborations. These are th three-way collaboration. Like three different breweries. Seven inch. Yeah, yeah, more three or less. Three bands, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had this the other night in Richmond. This is a great brewery, the brewery. They're from California as well. But I had this beer as the base, uh, filtered through what they call a Randall. It's like a, a, a enhancing, like, filtration system. They run the beer through, they ran it through, uh, like, a, Cilantro and lemongrass and all these, a couple other things, and it was it was delicious. It was really special. Ryan, I looked at it. And it's called a Randall. It's yeah, not the a Randall's. Cabinet. Yeah, the, no, it's not the cabinet. Yeah, Randall's a special beer yes. device. Mm. This is a killer beer. Eleven, eleven percent. This thing will knock you on your butt. These beers are fantastic. The Trappist beers from uh, Belgium. Aren't the Trappists a religious order? They're made by monks. There's Those only, are really made by yeah, monks? Yeah, there's only seven true Trappist breweries left in the world. Six are Belgian and one's Dutch. There's uh, this uh, West Flederen. It's considered the best beer in the world. They only make a certain allotment every year and you have to call the brewery, the monastery, give them your license plate number and drive there and you're only allowed one case per car. Like, they do that now because, like, years ago, people would show up with, like, different cars and mustaches on and shit, like, try to, get, try to get extra beer. So they really cracked down on it. I love beer. I have nuts about it. So <laughs> if you were to walk out here with, let's say, three choices, which one would they be? Well, this one would definitely be my first choice. All right, Black three. Sanus. Yep, this, Black Sanus. Maybe this. Ale Smith. Barley wine. I love barley wines. The old numbskull. You know, I'd probably, for the third choice, even though the brewery's really great, I'd go with one of these Italian beers because I've never had one. I always see them, but I, I've never picked them up because the price is so high. Italy, uh, for some reason, Italy taxes their beers before they even leave the country. I mean, they're taxed when they come in our country again. So that's why they're so expensive. Okay, there you have it. Beer tour. It's a long, very productive drinking day, many great beers. Selection here at Whole Foods is good.